Hi, Jared with the cool guys here out of Omaha, Nebraska. I'm going to show you how to clear out your drain. A lot of times people will come down to their laundry room or wherever their furnace might be and you'll see a bunch of water all over the floor. Um, with, with a clogged drain, your AC usually is working just fine. So you're not going to notice anything with your thermostat, but you notice this water on the floor. Anyhow, what you're going to want to do is with this one, it's going to be pretty simple because we have just a plastic drain tube leading down over to a floor drain. Um, this one, you're going to, you'll just want to pull it off. A lot of times if, if this actual tube is clogged somewhere in the line, then once you pull it off, you might have a lot of water trying to dump out of here. So maybe put your finger over that. Then you're gonna wanna blow on the hose or just make sure that it's cleared out so the water can get out of your evaporator coil pan and out to the drain instead of filling up the pan and leaking all over your furnace and all over the floor. So blow that out, make sure all your hose or your line, whatever, going down to your drain is cleared out. That might not be always be the issue. Sometimes this fitting here will have a clog in it. You're not always going to be able to unscrew this. Sometimes you'll have PVC going through here or other types of ways that it may drain. Um, with PVC, it's going to be more difficult because then you're going to actually have to cut the PVC and then repair it. You might want to just call somebody to do that. And that's perfectly fine if you don't feel comfortable doing that. But if it's just an easy one like this, you can always try to unclog it yourself and save yourself some money. So you would just want to unscrew this piece here also. And then make sure that this fitting is cleared out. Then you're going to want to look inside here too. Like I said, during this time, there's probably going to be a lot of water in this pan. So have some rags and stuff ready, some towels to kind of dry up the water, maybe put right here while you're checking this out. Um, then just make sure that there's no debris or anything blocking the water from getting out of here. Make sure this fitting is cleared out. And once you have done all that, and I said, you'll, you'll know because if you have a clogged drain or this is clogged, once you pull this off or once you pull this off, you're going to have water just gushing out. This one's not gushing out because it's not a clogged drain. So once you're done, you just put it all back. Put it back together, then you should be good to go.